Hi, welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Moharem Ghosh, and I'm back today with another awe-inspiring story for all of you. Before we go on to the story, for those of you who are already my subscribers, a heartfelt thank you. And for those of you who are coming on to the first time to the channel, let me give you a brief about the channel. Generous, gracious and gallant. The channel was formed in 2015 on Facebook. And today we have in the private group about 800 plus members. On WhatsApp, we have an additional 120 members. And on YouTube, which we started in May 2020, in view of the ongoing pandemic, we have 195 subscribers as on date. Generous, Gracious and Gallant was formed with the twin objectives of sharing daily inspiration and changing the thought process and strengthening the moral fiber of the present and coming generations. Coming back to our story, the inspirational person I'm going to be speaking to you about today is Ivan Fernandez, a Spanish athlete who is into track and field events and runs long distances and marathons. The event he was participating in was the Burlado cross country race at Navarre, Spain on December 2nd, 2012. He was coming second in the race behind the Kenyan athlete Abel Muttai. Abel Muttai was very close to the finish line and got confused by a signboard and stopped running thinking he had won the race. Ivan Fernandez, who was just a few feet behind him, coming second, shouted at the Kenyan athlete, Abel, in Spanish, saying, continue running, continue running. Abel Muttai did not understand Spanish and stood his ground. Upon seeing this, Ivan, who had a clear chance of overtaking Abel Muttai and winning the race did not do so. Instead, he shoved and pushed Abel Muttai till Abel Muttai crossed the finish line first and Ivan himself came second. Much later, when questioned about this, Ivan Fernandez said he was the rightful winner. He created a gap that I couldn't have closed if he hadn't made a mistake. As soon as I saw he was stopping, I knew I wasn't going to pass him. Post the race, he was also interviewed by a journalist. Who asked him, why did you do that? Ivan replied, my dream is that someday we can have a kind of community life. The journalist insisted, but why did you let the Kenyan win? Ivan replied, I didn't let him win, he was going to win. The journalist was insistent, but you could have won. Ivan looked at him in the eye and said, but what would have been the merit of my victory? What would be the honor of that medal? What would my mom think of that? Ivan Fernandez displayed a rare, rare quality of the spirit of sportsmanship. He displayed the values and principles with which he was living by and the values and principles which had been passed on to him by his family. Values are principles 
are transmitted from generation to generation. What are the values that we want to teach our children and what are the values we want to pass on to the future generations is dependent on us as parents and as leaders that we have to provide shining examples so that these values and principles are carried on from generation to generation. Ivan Fernandez had a clear opportunity to win the race. He chose to lose come second rather than letting go of his values and principles and the true spirit of sportsmanship. An awesome example of living by values and principles. It is not often that we come across such instances where people choose to live by principles and values and as and when we do come across them, we need to highlight such winners, people who are true winners in every sense. For this act of his sportsmanship, fair play and honesty, Ivan Fernandez won the inaugural Save the Dream Award. The Save the Dream Award was, it was instituted by the Qatar Olympic Committee and ICSS, the International Center for Sports Security. The mission of this award, Save the Dream, is to raise awareness among young athletes about dangers of sports results manipulation and inculcate in them honesty, integrity and sportsmanship. And Ivan Fernandez, thanks to his rare display of the spirit of sportsmanship and his willingness to sacrifice a race and come second rather than forsake his values and principles, won the inaugural award. By coming second in the race, Ivan won global acclaim for his sportsmanship. He proved to be a winner in life. He might have come second in the race, but in life he is a true winner. A man of values and principles. An athlete who is renowned now worldwide for his True spirits of sportsmanship. Friends, mankind is facing its biggest battle against the COVID-19 virus. If mankind has to win this battle against the infamous COVID-19 virus, we need winners such as Ivan Fernandez. We all have to live by values and principles. That's the only way to beat this virus. You need to step forward and make a difference. How can you make a difference? By living by values and principles, taking care of each other and making a difference to one in your community. A simple act of kindness by you could make a difference in someone's life. The COVID-19 virus has closed down multiple businesses. Many people are out of a job, are unable to earn their livelihood and there is a mass transit happening in, in the labor class. Those of you who still are healthy and are still able to take care of your livelihoods, need to stand up and make a difference. Live by your principles, values, as as Ivan in this example, and be counted. Make a difference to someone in your community. You don't know how far the ripples of your kindness will spread out. 
Friends, if you like the awe-inspiring stories which I bring to you, please do subscribe to the channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant and press the bell icon so that you get an update on every inspirational story which I bring out to you on your channel. Till we meet again with another awe-inspiring story on your very channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Good luck and all the best. Stay safe, maintain social distancing, avoid going into crowds and always, always wear a mask. Good luck, all the best. Thank you.